In this video series, we're going to show how to create an expenses app using core data. In the first video, we're going to show how to initialize the project and get ourselves ready to use core data. So unzipping our started project and opening the Xcode project. Let's take a look at the storyboard. This application has two main view controllers, a UI view controller named expenses view controller that contains a table view that is supposed to show all the current expenses. This expenses view controller has a plus button to take you to a new view controller to add new expenses. That view controller is called the single expense view controller that has a few UI elements, including a name text field, an amount text field, and a date picker to set some properties for um, our expense. And the expenses view controller file, which goes with the view controller with the table view, has a date formatter ready to go and has the um, data source and delegate methods for populating the table view. And the single expense view controller has IB outlets already set up to the um, fields and the date picker and um, also has the ability to resign, put away the keyboard if the user taps outside of one of the fields after the keyboard is displayed. So to create a project, because this project already has core data enabled, actually let's show you the app, app delegate first. To be able to tell if a project has core data enabled, there's a couple different places you should look. The first place that is the most obvious place is it should include a file of type XC data model D. You can look at this file. It simply looks like this. This is core data editor. And you can also check in the app delegate if it includes a core data stack at the very bottom. It's a persistent container. This persistent container is how we'll actually interact with the core data store. So if we didn't have this pre-created project and we were to create a new project and we selected an iOS application, on the screen where we're entering the name and the organizational identifier, there's a checkbox that says use core data. And if that is checked, then you're going to end up with the model D file and the appropriate functions in the app delegate. So. Before we even begin coding in this, let's go to our project information and let's give it a bundle identifier just so we can be able to run this application in the simulator and on devices. Um, it should be unique to you and the project. And in our instance, it's going to be online tech innovator, followed by the name of the project, which for us would be expenses. So this is going to be the starting point for our series of videos where we're going to build a core data based expenses app. 